What's up YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today I've got a brand new series for you. This is EU4, Rights of Man. This is the Imperium Universalis mod. And so I really wanted to start this campaign off as a Germanic tribe just to give it a try. See if you guys would like it on the channel here and if you'd like to see me play more, right? And so let's go ahead and get it started. We are playing as the Burgundy tribe here. This little purple single province miner here so i'm trying to see if we can take this tribe grow it try to take over all of germania here conquer our neighbors discover these new lands over here which you have to colonize similar to the new world in eu4 vanilla and it is the year 453 and so this is during classical roman times or the hellenic hellenic era um, if you may so First and foremost, we're showing that we have too few rivals. Uh, something I like to do is, right off the bat here, we can see the Simonis tribe, Rugi, and Lemovi tribe both hate us, right? I was kind of thinking our first conquer or expedition would be down here into this tribe to my southeast and maybe over here, but since the guys over here towards my north and west hate me, we may have to look for allies towards our east here. So. I think one of the the first things we should do is go here to Lower Warth. All right, let's go ahead and see if they would take an alliance with us. They would, right off of the bat. So there's some different mechanics with this mod that uh, we'll get to here in a little bit, including if you go to Mission and Decisions, you have a food supply now and slaves. And so you click this button and it shows you your total tally there of food. The amount of food stored in Burgundy should never be at zero. We will suffer from bad modifiers if our people and soldiers have no food. Food will be produced every summer in provinces that produce green fish, fruits, meat, honey, olives, wine, and spices. They appear green on the trade goods map mode. Base production and terrain will modify the amount of pro produced food. Amount of slaves. Now you get slaves by conquering provinces or through events. Slaves are needed to trigger special events which give you money, province development, and other bonuses. So. The more slaves we have, the better sort of, I guess, uh, bonuses we get, right? So we do have an initial uh, mission here to improve relations with the Vendhali here, which we're going to do. So we're going to set that as our mission because we've already sent an alliance request out to them, right? With one of our diplomats. Uh, something else we could do is try and see if we could... Yeah, the Gatonis here, tribe... Let's see if we can offer them an alliance. We must wait to another day in order to make another offer, so that's fine. Don't have any sea provinces right now, so let's turn this up to speed three and unpause it just to get going here. Um, okay, great. We've been accepted into this military alliance here right off the bat. Now, since he's our first ally, okay, it's looking like that tribe we just looked at, the Gatones here, not very favorable towards our new allies, right? In fact... No one really likes them here except for Central Silesia, the Swabian tribe, which you guys might remember from... Um, you guys actually might remember this from... What is it? Uh, Rome 2? Rome Total War 2? Yeah. Okay. And are these actually two different tribes? They are. So the Luigi tribe and the Narvali tribe here. So let's double check this. I thought that was one tribe. The Luigi tribe is the one that sort of likes our new allies. So if we go here, they're not going to take an alliance with us right off the bat. They have a neutral a uh, attitude towards us. I think I'm okay to stick with the one ally for now and see how some of the relations of my neighbors sort of play out. Uh, dynastic actions. Okay. We can uh, get a royal marriage going with them here pretty shortly as well. So that'll be good. We're already seeing some provincial unrest here from the Burgundian noble rebels. Size of 7k there. We've got a 9 stack, which is good. But we can actually go up to 16 stack. Losing money currently, so let's fix that right off the bat here. I'm going to turn my army maintenance down. Like this. Rooting out some corruption currently as well, but we're going to get a half a ducat a month there for profit to start out with. And let's go here. And I've got some starting manpower of 13,650 there. So that's pretty good. So we'll add four Germanic, early Germanic warriors there right off the bat. Here's our royal marriage. We'll accept that from our new allies. Perfect. 
And then this one is from an alliance offer from the Helvacones. Helvacones. Where are you located? Hmm. Oh, right here next to me. Uh, damn. I hate to do that because I really wanted to conquer them. But since we have, you know, enemies here to my sides, that may make more sense just to go ahead and grab them as an ally right off the bat here. So we'll do that. We'll have to look elsewhere to start conquering, including up here in these provinces. Maybe even looking at colonial ideas and such to get some colonists going for us as well. Our current leader, let's see. Current leader is a 565, or a 232, excuse me, giving us 565. So that's pretty standard there. We do need to name some new rivals, right? And so we will go with the Seminese here to my left, the that uh, orange tribe there. We've got the Rugi up here that we could... Yeah, let's go ahead and rival them as well, the Rugi tribe. All right, and then finally, who's this other one, the Lemovi? Right here to my north, so we will... Yeah, let's go ahead and... Oh, actually, that was all I had to put in for rivals. All right, well, that's cool, but let's do it anyway. All right, Lemovi tribe, perfect. So we've got our rivals set up. We have a free advisor slot, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, the following decisions are available. We can start importing food. So if we start the imports here, foreign spy detection, minus 20%. We get this effect until January 2nd, year 1000, so forever. All right, let's start the food imports there just to make sure my people are fed. That may help in trying to manage this uh, unrest as well. We've gained humili Humiliate Cassus Belly against the Lamovi. Very good. We're going to take a royal marriage with our new allies here to our south. And I'm actually going to use one diplomat to continue improving relations there. Right, he's showing with a 10 or an 8 stack right now. We're up to a 10 here. And so new troops coming up for us. Here's the look of the sprite for the early Germanic warriors. Pretty simple with a shield and a spear. But that's okay. Because we're going to try to... We're actually going to try to uh, update these over time, right? Through our tech tree. The Hellenistic period. Covers the period of ancient Greek history and Mediterranean history between the death of Alexander the Great in 323 BC and the emergence of the Roman Empire uh, in 31 BC. Conquest of Egypt. Gain 5 prestige. National unrest minus 3. That's perfect. Uh... Okay, hold on a second. Corrupt merchant. One of our merchants is corrupt. Reports of him are using Burgundian money for himself. There are different ways we can handle this. We could remove him as a merchant and punish him, or we can let him pay for his crimes. Gain 79.79 ducats. Gain corruption. Let's imprison him there. I want to minimize that corruption at all, if possible. At this time, Greek cultural influence and power was at its peak in Europe. Africa and Asia, experiencing prosperity and progress in the arts, exploration, literature, theater, architecture, music, mathematics, philosophy, and science. It's often considered a period of transition, sometimes even of decadence or degeneration compared to the enlightenment of the Greek classical era. The Hellenistic period saw the rise of new comedy, Alexandrian poetry, the something, and the philosophies of Stoicism and Eupiricism. Greek science was advanced by the works of the mathematician Eusilid, and the polymath Archimedes. The religious sphere expanded including new gods such as Greco-Egyptian Serapsis, Eastern deities such as Addis and Cybele, and Greek adoption of Buddhism. Interesting. Underhand and Rogues and Lemovi have uh, the call have the gall to claim our province as their own. Same with the Simones. So they've fabricated claims against me already here. So we're up to a 13 stack now. What is our budget? Plus 0.23. That may be all we can muster for the moment. Let's go to the ledger really quickly. And military-wise, armies, the Simones. See if we can find them here. Mm, let's try to alphabetize them. There we are. So the Simones is going to be right here. All right. They've got similar total manpower. Force limit of 22, though. 
and they currently have 13 stack. Interesting. Their force limit was 22, mine is only 16, so they can produce a bigger army than me, of course, because they've got the three provinces here. One, two, three, four. Actually, four provinces there. Interesting. So we need to expand, right? Uh, the Lamovi might be a good choice. Who are they allied with? They're allied with the Langobards, which should be... Where are they located? Right over here. And they're also allied with the Sionese, which... Where are they? Are they over this way somewhere? Can't really see them. Hmm. All right. Well, that's fine. Uncolonized land. You have no colonists to send. So we need to unlock the idea groups. Uh, let's go ahead to the ideas tab and see when that's going to occur. Admin tech three is when we can get that. Germanic ideas we get from these as well. So if we take a look, where are these called? The expansion ideas would give us a colonist. There. Trade ideas. Okay, so they've revamped for the mod all of these. Oh, quantity ideas are now under admin. That's interesting. They used to be under... Yeah, they used to be under uh, the military ideas over here. Infantry, cavalry, quality, offensive, defensive, naval. So the expansion is really the only one that's going to offer us a colonist, it looks like at this point, from the tech tree. And yeah, wow, okay. So the expansionist ideas, we need to be good in diplomatic power in order to do that. So, we're currently seeing six, at least, for that category as we continue to roll upwards here. Still making money here at plus 0.22. And it does look like we've got a war going on over here. Yes, okay. So, an upper Silesia, lower Silesia, central Silesia there. Interesting. National decisions are still available. Let's show the food stocks now. Oh, we're showing a zero. Huh. Reform tribal administration. All right, in order to ref in order to abandon our tribal stuff. 500 admin power lose to stability. Interesting. So, yeah, we're currently in this uh, despotism here, tribal kingdom. Change government to despotism or federation that looks like almost like a little bit of a bug there huh all right trade wise we haven't even looked at the trade dude yet we do uh, uh currently possess the most central trade area here province coming in through what is this swabia right so not a ton of not a ton of gold to go around here but what is our... We're, we're currently at 2% trade power. So, Swabia, we need to send one of our merchants here. Collect from trade. And then where can we direct some of this trade to come into us here? It's actually starting in my area. Hmm. We could go to Germania over here. Germania. All right, let's send one there and then let's transfer trade power like that. I don't know if that'll actually work or not. Great feast, we can do this more often. We got some prestige out of that, very good. We've been informed that the diplomat from Simonese has been discovered building a spy network. Motherfucker. Simonese declared war on the Calonies Cal over here to their left. So they're gonna continue to grow, which is a little scary. Um, tribal Kingdom. Okay, so all of the Germanic areas over here to the left are also showing as um, Tribal Kingdoms. Gain two inflation or lose one stability? I'll take the inflation for sure. Money-wise, back over here now. Yeah, the army maintenance has gone up to one. If I bump this down even a little bit further, at least give me another 0.1 ducats in profit per month. Oh, the fort is up as well. We need to turn off the fort. Um, oh, no, can't because it's the single province there. 
So really, we need to rush to get to Admin Tech 3. Which will allow us to get that colonist going and, you know, sort of expand our borders to these other provinces to get that development up and going as well. This one's got a development total of 7. Maximum manpower of 13,650. Showing really good relationship there. We need to solidify our relations over here as well in Lower Warth to encase, yeah, the Seminese decide to declare war on us because they just expanded their borders yet again. Provincial unrest now. Burgundian noble rebels. Legitimacy is moving that down for us. Import of food supplies moving that down. No food supplies. Okay. Is August of 457. And so my experience with this mod so far is this sort of pops in and out according to your food supply. Okay, let's recall the diplomat here and double check our relations over here. Okay. You know what we could do is we could try to form a relationship up here with the Gatones tribe. Form an alliance. Let's do it. Just for extra support. Perfect. They're going to offer us a royal marriage right off the bat there. So I like that. We'll go ahead and improve relation with them there. Great feast. Very good. Get some more prestige out of that. Uh-oh. Lose one stability. Seems like our despot has become arbitrary. Damn it. His counselors avoid him, and even common people call him Sinner the Mad. Let's hope this won't end bad enough for Burgundy. Burgundy. We've been informed that the diplomat from Lumumia has been discovered building a sky. Fuck. We did just get an heir to the throne as well, a 621. We're going to call him Billy Bob. Billy Bob the Great. Sucks that his military is only one, though. Alright, so we do need to boost up this stability, unfortunately, which is going to cost us that admin power that we were just so desperately trying to upgrade with. No mission has been selected now. The rival rival of our rival. Conquer Lower Odora. Where is Lower Odora? Exactly. Hmm. Is that this province? Nope. Is it over here, potentially? Upper Silesia? No. Alright, I'm going to hold off on that for the moment. Almost back to full manpower now. And who is this guy allied with? The Gatonis and me? So really, if I attacked him, the only ally I would have was this guy. And if this guy gets attacked... Alright, so they have several, several allies each here. Rugi. He's allied with Rugi over here. And this one. Dogbuni. Fuck. That's fine, though. Alright. So we're approaching uh, over 50% now on the military tech 1. It's going to take us to level 6 to get to the advanced Germanic warriors. Oh, and you get the wolf warriors there at that level 2. Self-supplying communities. Great. There are many small tribal communities in Burgundy that are self-supplying. They hunt and harvest their own food without our help. That's great. Set food supplies to 7. So hopefully that'll help our... National unrest, which it did. No food supplies. Just as we get that freaking notification. So it comes back immediately. No food supplies yet again. That doesn't make any sense, now does it? It's a little weird. Uh, the movie here is our rival. Of course they hate us. They want my provinces, of course. Allied with Sweeney's and Langobardi. So this guy way over here and Sweeney's. Which is... Sure it's not Seminese? No, it's Sweeney's. Where the hell is Sweeney's? It's the one we were looking for before, wasn't it? Talented mathematician. What machine is this? Gaineth skill 3 mathematician. Cool. We get the 50 admin power back, too, that we had to spend... That we had to spend on our, uh... Stability drop. And... Back over here now. Let's see. 
need to check my relations. Three out of three. Okay. That's fine. That is fine with me. So, maybe a potential attack here up towards the north. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if you want to see more of this cool mod here. Year 460. And uh, again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed my content. And we'll catch you next time.